Now joined by Ryan O'Reilly of the Stanley Cup champion St. Louis Blues. Stanley Cup um, you're, it, it feels like you've been on a red carpet for most of the offseason yes. here. You're, you're ready. It's like, what's the story behind? The, we've had a lot of guys step up in kind of your standard suit. I'm liking the look. What's the story behind that? Um, well, I was actually, I was coming, driving from uh, Toronto. Obviously, here in Chicago, I only had one suit. It was the one I wore at the SBs and this was it. So it's kind of all I really had uh, to kind of look formal. All right. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just a nice blue tux. And, um, yeah, nice. I think it's, I was a little overdressed, so I had the T-shirt to well, around us. Around, around, around me specifically, <laughs> overdressed. Around me specifically. Has, uh, you know, Ovechkin set the tone for what a party should be when you win the <laughs> Stanley Cup. What has the summer been like for you? Uh, gosh, it's, it's amazing. Right when you first win it, uh, you know, the amount of celebrating is great. Like, you know, everywhere, everyone's so excited and friends, family, and the guys together. It's like, it's unbelievable. It's tough to, uh, to describe. It's just, it's so much fun. And um, then you have your cup day, and that's like an incredible thing that, you know, you try to share it with so many people and everyone, especially for me in Ontario, in small town Ontario, people are just so excited. Like, you know, it's just the, the cup changes people. Like, excites people so so much and it was a blast you know it's exciting and you know now it's things have shifted and it's on to the next and to do it again so was it Seaforth Godrich is that what you did yeah uh, Seaforth was where I originally uh, started playing my, my modern hockey right. and then uh, Godrich is kind of um, where I played triple a and and kind of trained through there for you know, throughout my career so right. it's it's in here on county the, the whole county is just supported me my whole career so it was nice to get back there and help out is there a is there like one moment that sticks i mean i saw the picture of you and your grandmother it was like it seemed like you had the healthy balance the picture of you in the plane uh it was patty you <laughs> connie uh stanley and the guinness in your hand and then the picture of your your grandmother like it just that balance it seems like it like it must almost be surreal yeah it's crazy like it, it still hasn't really like sunk in all of it it's just yeah. like you know it like I gotta say the best part of the whole thing was obviously playing the games right. the intensity of the games and doing that and then you finally win and it's just like you can't believe you actually did it like right. you know you're just so in the moment playing and then you win and then you're just kind of with the guys and you're having such a good time and a picture and then you, you get to go home to that hometown and it, it was really cool to to see my granny who's 99 right. you know she's in the seaforth nursing home and for her to come out and she was on took a fire truck and she's up in the bucket with me there oh, and, you know waving at everyone it, like it was it was so cool to see and then um you know just being in like doing the it was like two small parades and did some pictures but just the amount of people that you know are behind me and I'm part of it that you know you know it wasn't just me that one it was all of them too right. you know it's just they're all responsible as well for you know my success for helping me out throughout um, my career so it's so nice just to share them with them and running into people I went to school with and elementary and teachers and you know high school friends like it was just so cool to see everyone, everyone to share it with nice to hear the joy in your voice as you talk about all this stuff as if it just happened yesterday and to remember kind of where you were at when you left Buffalo and and it wasn't just that but I mean obviously where you guys were in the standings for the first half of that season did you, I mean, in your wildest dreams, obviously, you, you couldn't expect the last season to play out the way it was, but where, where, did, where did the joy start to come back for you? Because that's one of the real quotes of the last couple of years that stick out to me yeah. for any player in this league. Yeah, um, losing definitely is, is brutal. It's awful. It, it, you know, it sucks the life out of you. It, it, it's not fun. And, you know, having that change and going and having that spark and, going into St. Louis and then we don't have success right away. Like I, I felt like cancer and like I just did not feel good. Like, you know, try, you know, I thought going in and be a lot easier, but it was a, another major lesson, especially for our team, kind of having all that pressure on us and not succeeding and just keep working, you know, this guy's sticking together and things are going well, but continue just to work for each other. And then next, you know, a couple little changes happened, you know, Biddington comes in and steals a couple games on his own. And, you know, this kind of spark is there and you can see us just kind of we've kind of got an identity, you know, we're, we're playing teams hard and we're wearing them down and then we're beating them. And then, you know, you could just see everyone in the room, like it just became so much fun. And, you know, it just shows like you put in the work and even things don't go well, but you keep working and stay together. Things eventually play out. And it was for myself, it was just such a fun time. And because just from that January on, it just was like, you know, we've got to perform I and mean, we have to get into the playoffs. And, and we beat like during that stretch, you know, we beat some of the best teams in the league. And we knew that if we get in, we're going to give every, anyone a run for the money. So, so you're sitting there, I mean, and, and you know, all the usual suspects were looking at cup contenders. Yeah. You guys are in the room going, they don't know what we know right now. We know the level we're playing at. That was the feeling in the room with you guys? Yeah, it's just like there wasn't a team in the league that kind of really 
you know, obviously some great teams, but we always played them well and, and we made it difficult on them, you know. The better the team, I felt, the better, you know, as a group we, we rose to that situation. And, you know, that gave us confidence. And we're going to, obviously, you look at our run, you know, playing Winnipeg, a fantastic team. And getting that, we still had a lot of great bounces throughout that. But, you know, all, all four of the teams we beat, like, you know, we we knew that we could do it. We knew that we could, if we do our right things, we're going to frustrate them and make it hard on them. And so we were confident. It was just getting to the playoffs and, and we'll take anyone on. You know, once we got that lead, we knew we were going to get it. You know, it was, sorry, I apologize. I so amped up. I'm so sorry. We just, we knew the boys are I've heard that word in hockey before. I'm, sorry. I'm terribly sorry. It's okay. I apologize. So we continue to swear at Scott Oak just for tradition's sake. <laughs> if I do it again, maybe. I, I felt awful about that. Well, knowing Scott a little, I, I think he'd want you to. <laughs> I think I think yeah. he'd actually be be all for it. It's true. Um, so what motivates you now? Yeah. It's weird. Like uh, you know, obviously the summer I think for me ended like the you know the day after the cup, and it was just kind of like all right, it's time to gear up again. It's kind of sad. Like you know, you're you're at this party with all your friends, and you're kind of carrying the cup over to the case. And you're putting it back in, and it's kind of like, a, it's here. It, yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it's over. Like it's time to, it's time to get going again. But kind of like I said before, like the, the the greatest part of the whole the whole process was, you know, you know, coming together as a team and starting to win and getting into the playoffs and playing those games where like the pressure is so high. It's just like such an easy thing to to get up for, and right. and and like that that was just so much fun. So like again, like training for that, it's just like you want to get back, and I'm excited to compete again, and and prove we're the best again like it's and it, I know it's going to be a completely different way but there's so many good things that we learn there that we can carry over and and and, and do it again but uh, yeah it'll be it'll be so good to get back with these guys and and prove prove to everyone again we can be the best this might be a difficult question or an easy question I'm not sure but when I talked to other NHLers and we were talking about your what you guys did and your personal success and the con Smythe a lot of guys have a ton of respect for what you do that play the game. Do you know why that is? Uh, well, I've been traded a few times. Maybe they've seen <laughs> me personally. <laughs> but uh, I don't but is, know. Is it uh, part of the journey? Is it seeing how much you hated losing and how competitive you are? Is it the things that you do on the ice for the rest of your team? Yeah, I th I, you know, yeah it's tough to say. Um, you know, I know for myself, I've always kind of... You know, I think I came in as a guy that was like just penalty killing and defensive and slowly kind of built my offensive game. And so I kind of always had that staple of kind of being kind of a, a two way center. And I right. think guys have seen that. I, you know, I try, I take a lot of pride in trying to be a guy that um, can play against top lines and frustrate them and make it a difficult night for them. So I, right. you know, it's not, it's really nice that guys say that. Uh, you know, that's, um, yeah, that, you know, yeah, I take it a lot of pride seems like in that. The, the ultimate respect to have it from your peers. Yeah, it means a lot. Um, it's it's great to see you enjoying the game. Yeah, and uh, and I think uh, <laughs> well, winning winning's very fun. Right? Well, it is. <laughs> yeah. it's, and for it's certain guys fun. who've been in the league who are, who are talented and who haven't done that, it's just, it's good to see that. It's good to see you enjoying it. It was a I, I, I've said it to him a couple times. You guys have changed hockey. Because yeah. I don't care where a team is in the standings going forward for the next little while. You guys will be a blueprint. I don't know. will it work for all other teams. I'm not quite sure. But I think any coach whose team is a little trouble will look at what you guys just did. And, and, and make you guys yeah, an example. Put it up put on a bulletin up board and say, look Absolutely. what these guys did. Absolutely. Uh, well, uh, thanks for stopping by. I know yeah. there's a car wash going on here, but uh, we appreciate it, right? Yeah. Awesome. Right. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Ryan O'Reilly, Stanley Cup champion from the St. Louis Blues.